Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have a puppy that keeps nipping and biting you, then just keep watching. If you are new to this channel, I'm Tori. I create content on Aussie Doodle things and also wellness and essential oils. This is my husband, Chris. He also has a YouTube channel called Dogs Now, all about different kinds of dog breeds, and we'll link that below. And this is Frankie, our one and a half year old. We finally made it. She's getting less and less puppy like. Yeah. Would you say? Yep. Um, when we first got her, though, she had a lot of the puppy things that people I feel like need help with the most. And one of those things is nipping or biting. Yeah, it's frustrating when you your puppy, your dog is biting and it's just not fun, especially when you have kids. We have five tips that will really help you with your Aussie Doodle to prevent them from biting or nipping. The first one is exercise. We'll always start with exercise because if your dog's not exercised, that they haven't been out, they haven't been able to run a little bit, they're going to be even a more problem than just normal. They're going to be more biting. hyper. Yeah, they're going to be more destructive. They have a lot of pent up energy. Start with exercise. Always keep that in the back of your mind. You need to be exercising your dog. Number two, yelping. When they're in a litter together and the litter mates will bite each other and they'll kind of yelp to say, that's not okay. Don't do that to me. When they bite you or get, you know, get their teeth on you, you can yelp at them and it kind of like, hey, that's not, that's not good. That's not okay. It just kind of stops them in their tracks like, what was that? And kind of redirects. And at that point, you can just ignore, like turn around um, and just ignore them for, I don't know, just a couple of minutes. Redirecting and then positive reinforcement is really important. Number three is whatever they're biting, trade a toy right in. So it's like, hey, it's okay to be chewing and biting. That's a natural thing for dogs but not on this a human. It's what you can chew, yeah. Yep, not on a human, not on a kid's toy, but here are your toys. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how quickly they pick up that. And consistency is really um, key with that. Every single time they're biting you or and biting the kid's toys, um, because she did that a little bit, and I would say, I don't know, a couple weeks, but we were just very consistent in watching her, and every time she had something she didn't or was biting us, we would give her her own toy. And like this, and then while she's p chewing her own toy, really give her um and affection so that she knows what's right. She wants that direction. Too. Number four is to prevent um, giving them affection while while or right after they, they go and you know put their teeth on you. So where you the tendency is like they'll go to a bite and you're like hey no don't do that don't do that don't bite me and you just are. We see this a lot with a lot of bad behavior too not just this but. And you're petting them saying, hey, that's okay, you know, do that again, do that again, that's what you want to do. So yeah. you, you think you're calming them down, but really you're rewarding them for, for what they're doing. And, yeah. And, yeah. and especially with the kids, they, kids need to know that too, because our, our kids mm -hmm. would, I don't know, it's just, it's something that you can easily mess up. Yeah, and it's just something that's super important, especially when you have other people's kids over, um, because we worry like zero when we have other kids over, we have a lot of kids in the neighborhood, and she is great with yep. all of them. But yeah, like Tori said, it's a really good reminder, really pay attention to when you're giving affection because yeah. uh, that's where they're like, okay, you must like this. So if they jump up on the couch and you're giving them affection and then you're like, get off the couch, well, you told them that's as good, come up to the couch and I will pet you. Um, mm -hmm. You know, things like that. So just kind of so be aware of So going back to like, just ignoring them, um, do the Yelp, ignore, turn your body, turn your back to them um, instead of, them. The last tip, calm assertive, and if you've ever watched Caesar, you know this is a big thing of his, is your energy, and when I say calm assertive, is when a dog, a puppy especially, um, bites you or nips at you, you want to get angry, you know, you want to react, um, but you want to be calm, something I, I probably didn't do a good job of when we had the puppy, but I just, be, be calm assertive, this yeah. is not right, you know, that your sort energy. of energy. And so that, like, I'm thinking back at the yelping thing. So you're not, like, yelping and freaking out. You're just a quick, loud, like, noise. Like, <laughs> um, like, ah, like, ah, or. No, just like a high pitch, like a puppy would do. Yeah. But don't freak out and, like, make it a whole thing. Just a quick little yelp and then turn. So calmly and assertively just do that. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. They'll <laughs> surprise you sometimes. And, you know, you, you want to react or, but just try to, they're a puppy. It's not going to kill me. And that energy, now you've made them anxious. And now mm -hmm. they, they just associate, you know, now there's just an anxious uh, temperature in the room. So you, you kind of want to just 
Hey, nope. Ah, yo. Stay calm, consistent. Calm, yeah. consistent, confident. Like I'm. Mm -hmm. This is not what we do. You can't. You can't like bite me and get a reaction. I'm not gonna allow that. And um, and that will really teach them very quickly. Hey, I'm I'm done with this. And something that we think, or you know, thought just. God damn it. Okay. So I'll cut that. Oh my god. <laughs> and something. Sorry. And something with Aussie Doodles is that they are so smart. So right away, as soon as you get them, you have to start doing this because they um, like learn their behavior and and how to act and who is the leader right away. Um, and they want to know and they want to be told and they want direction. So you need to establish all of these boundaries and rules and what's it, limitations? Yep. Um, right away, as soon as you get them, eight weeks old. Um, I think they're more trainable. I think I read somewhere where like at 12 weeks, they're more trainable, but don't wait. Don't let them do whatever they want for a month um, until you start doing all this stuff. Yeah. And that's uh, the big takeaways are, are that when, you, when you're showing affection and just be calm, assertive, and um, I think you'll be amazed at how quickly they stop and they'll start chewing on their own toys. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just really... She doesn't chew on anything. She doesn't chew on kids' toys, um, on any of the furniture, shoes. Like, that was my worst fear, that she would be chewing up shoes all the time. But um, it's a full circle thing, right? So what we said with all of the tips, so the exercise, all of it, um, like, plays into that as well. Yep. So, awesome. No, I think that's it. If you yeah, do those I five things, I mean, that's a great, great way to know. Keep it simple, too, and mm -hmm. don't... It's just simple and, and um, consistency. Again, I will link Chris's channel down below if you want to see all kinds of different dog breeds. It's fun. Um, and I will link some of Frankie's favorites and anything else we talked about in this video below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.